In this video, I'm going to show you that you can take any device with an Amazon skill and integrate it into Home Assistant. And we're going to use this unique light from Decala as our example. So stick around because we're about to automate some boring stuff. Welcome back to Slacker Labs. My name is Jeff. One of the awesome things about Home Assistant is just the sheer number of integrations. But did you know that outside this list of integrations on the Home Assistant homepage, you also have access to any device that can be integrated into the Amazon Echo. Of course, the quality of that Home Assistant integration is going to be dependent on the quality of the Amazon skill. But the big thing I wanna show you here is that you're not just limited to the integrations listed on the Home Assistant homepage. You have access to any device that can integrate with the Amazon Echo as long as you have an Amazon Echo in your house connected to Home Assistant. And to demonstrate just how easy this is, I'm going to use this unique light from Decala. This is the Decala Arches Smart Bedside Lamp. And if you've seen any of my recent videos prior to this one, you would have seen it in the background. Decala was kind enough to send me this lamp at no cost so I could do this video. But as always, they had no influence over the content of this video. And before we get into how we're going to integrate this using the Amazon skill, I want to tell you a little bit about this lamp. The Decala Arches Smart Bedside Lamp is a color therapy lamp that is really three devices in one. First, it's a bedside lamp that features a clock and the local weather. It's a sleep aid to help you get to sleep with soothing sounds that fade over time. And it's an alarm clock that can wake you up gently using sound and color that can mimic the sun rising. And speaking of color, it has 16 million of them, meaning you can find the right shade to fit your mood along with color effects like party mode and flicker. Inside this little circle of light is a built-in Bluetooth speaker for syncing with your favorite music. And you can control this lamp through the Tuya Smart Life app or one of three voice assistants, Google, Amazon, and Tmall Genie. If you have trouble getting to sleep or waking up, the Decala Arches Smart Bedside Lamp may be just what you need. What I found interesting about this unique lamp from Decala was that it was focused on helping you get better sleep. We all know that light has an effect on our sleep, whether it's blue light at the wrong time or just all the artificial light affecting or disrupting our circadian rhythm. And in a world full of devices that give off light that can disrupt our sleep patterns, falling to sleep can be a challenge for some of us. I could do a double espresso shot right before I get into bed and have zero issues falling asleep which may mean I ingest way too much caffeine. My wife, on the other hand, typically runs into issues and needs an audiobook or a movie playing in the background. If you're in the same boat, then this lamp may be able to help with that. This lamp features a sleep aid option, which allows you to choose a light mode and then pick a sound like frogs, waves, or even running water, and then a time period for which both of those will fade as you fall asleep. It also features an alarm clock option that can use light and sound to gently pull you from sleep so you're not jarred awake by a loud alarm. One of the alarm light options is sunrise, so this lamp can slowly brighten over a period of time just as if the sun was rising, which is helpful for us because we have blackout curtains in our bedroom and we don't normally see the light of the day until we've opened the curtains. Add in some sounds like birds and then you've got a really pleasant way to wake up. Because I don't know about you, but when my alarm goes off in the morning and the room is completely dark, I find it too easy to reach over, hit the snooze button, and go back to sleep. But in addition to this lamp bringing a better sleep experience to your smart home, I also wanted to highlight how you could add this device into Home Assistant using the Amazon skill. And this is where the Decala Arches Smart Bedside Lamp surprised me. Right after I unboxed this lamp, I actually thought that this lamp was not going to work for my original idea for this video because the Decala Arches Smart Bedside Lamp is a Tuya based device. And you can control it using the Tuya Smart Life app. So I almost pivoted and did this video on how you could integrate this using the Tuya integration in Home Assistant, except that I never actually got that to work. While the Tuya integration connected to my account and saw that I had one device, it never actually pulled it down into Home Assistant. Which brings us back to using the Amazon Echo. However, thanks to the Tuya Smart Life app, the Amazon integration for this device is really good. And thanks to the Tuya skill in Amazon, the Echo sees this as three different devices, which makes things really easy once we want to start automating this in Home Assistant. 
But before we can do that, we need to create some routines that can control this using the Tuya skill. So for this example, I created two routines, one to turn the lamp on and one to turn it off. For each of the routines, I used the voice trigger. You're going to use this voice trigger in our integration with Home Assistant, so don't get too crazy with your words here. The easiest way to integrate these Amazon devices into Home Assistant is using the Amazon Media Player integration from Hacks. The real name for that integration contains the A word, which of course we're going to try to avoid saying on this video. So if you're going to look for it, just use that word in the place of Amazon when you search Hacks. If you don't already have that integration installed, I'll put a link to a video I did walking you through how to install both Hacks and that integration. Okay, so after we get these routines set up in Amazon, it's time to work on the Home Assistant piece that will connect the two. This could be an automation or a script, but since I want to trigger this lamp just like a normal lamp, I'm going to use an input Boolean so that it has an on and an off. You can set that up in the helper menu under configuration. Just add a toggle helper and give it a name. Then I created an automation that would handle triggering the respective routine each time I flip the input Boolean. For that automation, set the trigger to when the input Boolean turns on and set the trigger ID to light underscore on. And then you'll need one for when it turns off with the trigger ID set to light underscore off. Then for action, I used the choose action and longtime fans of Slacker Labs will know this is a favorite of mine. For the first condition, I used trigger as my condition and set the ID to light underscore on. For action under this condition, I call the service media player play media. I set the target to one of my echoes, which one you use doesn't really matter. Content ID is going to be the voice trigger you used to trigger the routine. Then content type is routine. Then I created another option under the choose action for the light off trigger. I used the same service call. I just replaced the voice trigger phrase with the one for the turn off routine. And now all that's left to do is to add the switch to our dashboard and test. Flip the toggle on and our lamp turns on. Flip it off and the light turns off. A really simple integration using an Amazon routine. If you're not using Home Assistant and you want to add this lamp, then using the Tuya Smart Live app works really well. And since the Amazon integration sees us as three different devices, we could set up three different light settings and then have each of them controlled by a dedicated switch in Home Assistant. You also have access to enable your alarms via Home Assistant automation as well. You just don't have any ability to adjust the actual alarm settings. You're going to have to do that in the Tuya Smart Life app. You can also add this lamp to your Google Home, but I found that the Google Home skill wasn't on the same level as the Amazon one. When I added this lamp to my Google Home, all I got was one device that I could turn on and off, but I could adjust the color via the skill, and I had zero access to enable the alarms. And of course, there's no way to trigger a Google Home routine via Home Assistant that I know of. However, if you do know a way to do that, let me know in the comments. So far, my family is enjoying this lamp. It really does make a nice bedside lamp. It has good color and the ability to use it as a speaker is really nice. Oh, and you can get a version of this Arches lamp with a wireless charger built in. If you're not really a fan of alarm clocks and you already have a wireless charger, then I'm not sure this lamp is going to add much to your life that you couldn't get in another way. But if you are looking for an alarm clock with a built-in wireless charger that could sit on your nightstand all in one device, then I think this is the lamp you want. The deluxe version of this lamp like the one I tested without the wireless charger is $199. But as of the time that I was filming this video, it was 35% off, making it $129, and you could get it today. The elite version of this lamp that does have the wireless charger is $229. But again, as of filming this video, it was currently listed at 39% off. So $138, and you can pre-order it today. There's a link in the description of this video if you're interested in purchasing one of these unique lamps from Decala. And of course, the method we covered in integrating this lamp with Home Assistant isn't just unique to this lamp. As long as you have an Amazon Echo, you can integrate any device that can integrate with the Echo into Home Assistant which opens the world of devices that you can integrate with Home Assistant. Again, a massive thanks to Decala for sending me this lamp so I could do this video. 
If you found value in this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for more smart home content like this. As always, thanks for taking time out of your home automation projects to watch mine. Until next time, go automate the boring stuff.